action. And we're here at the Rush Center on GreenBayPressGazette.com. I'm Andrew Carp with the victorious Kiwani Storm girls basketball team. We have two of the seniors, Jill Kleiman to my left, Kelsey Stangle to my right. Last second shot, Jill Kleiman with the assist to Alex Richard. Jill, just talk about you know that last possession and what's going through your head at that point. Well, I knew I had to get to the rim no matter what because time was winding down, and with them, or with us being in bonus, then it really helped. So once I got in up clear and then I saw Rich, I passed it, and then oh, I was hoping it would go in, and it did. Back-to-back -back state titles, you're only a team to do that this year, winning back-to-back -back as far as defending your crown. And overall, when you're in uh, grade school, you won the back-to-back -back titles in eighth grade, lost in a championship, the inverse of it at your varsity career. Just talk about how exciting that is, Kelsey. Losing our eighth grade year was tough, and to be here now, the competition is even better here, and to win now, the emotions are just flowing. I mean, you it's unreal. You can't even believe what, like, what our team is feeling. It's so amazing to end your senior year this way. Just overall, when you're down, they start off 17 to 4. Obviously, East Troy, a quick team. Just talk about um, at what point did you really feel like things were starting to go your way there in the third quarter when you're making your comeback? Um, once we started executing on defense and not allowing the um, drive and kick more, then it really helps our offense get going and you know score easy buckets on the transition and just layups, and it just really helps. And then our defense kept up, and we just were in their face, so they couldn't get any shot, and then we were quick on our feet, so it really helped. As far as, obviously, it was exciting last year when you win it, but this year, Algoma, they win the D4 championship before you. How cool is that? I mean, what's the Lakeshore going to be like the rest of the weekend? <laughs> it's going to be a big party on the Lakeshore, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, we're great friends with Algoma. We always have been since grade school. We even played in a tournament together when we were little. We're so close, and we were here cheering for them as long as we could, and I know they were there, and we just saw some of them, and they were cheering for us too, and that's what it's all about, to have a community like that that all comes together. We're a great Lakeshore, and we're going to keep it that way. Just last thing, Jill, just talk about the atmosphere, seeing all that plus and yellow, both sides, it's kind of as far as, and then when the celebration for you guys, we finally did it, accomplishing that goal, just, what's, just put that into words if you can, don't say I can't put it into words. Well, it's hard to put it into words, but like Kelsey said, we have a great community, so everyone's there to support us no matter what, you know, they would be there for us, win or lose, always on our backs, and just... A really good competition that keeps us going and just really good feeling to win. All right, for Joe Climb and Kelsey Stangle, I'm Andrew Carter for Green Bay, PressGazette.com, and we're all from the Rush Center.